Morning guys, today we are here at the Artis Cableway. We're going all the way to the top to look at the view. Unfortunately it is a bit smoky or cloudy. I'm not exactly sure if it's mist or smoke clouds, but we'll take you along to the journey to the top so we can see the view and then show you everything that's available to do at the top. So join us on this journey. We are quite excited for you to be here. Number one rule for a winter adventure is starting with a cup of coffee. It is 10 degrees outside, super cold, but lovely morning today. Um, thank you for all the subscribers and likes and comments. We appreciate it so much. And let's go and reach some new heights today. Cheers! On my way to hand in the two free breakfast vouchers which we received at the bottom this morning when we bought our tickets between 8.30 and 9.30. The staff is so friendly, you get a gorgeous view which you can appreciate while you wait for your food and the buzzer will go off to notify you when your food is ready. We are now hiking along the, the Dicey Loop. There's a short 1.2 kilometer paved walkway on top of the, the mountain here you can walk. And yeah, just fun fact, the original Artis Cableway was opened in 1973 and it was upgraded to what it is now. So and along this route, there's all kinds of interesting fact boards about places you can see from up here or general facts from South Africa. Did you know Church Street is the longest urban street in South Africa? Oh, some fun facts like that. So 
join us along this walk and then we'll see what other fun facts we can find along the way. Always remember to just take a second and enjoy the view without your phone in hand. On the return side of the hike, you can see Rustenburg, Sun City and Brits on the back side of the Mahalis mountain. So that's pretty cool that you can see both sides on this incredible view. On the link in the description, you can book your paragliding adventure from the top of the Mahalisberg. It looks like a pretty insane adventure. Imagine the view you can see from all the way up there. At the top, there's entertainment for the entire family, from boost and bounce to a nice ice cream shop and a playground with slides and a play pit for the kids to enjoy fun times and the pizza shack where you can get food and drinks and then there's a variety of seating options where you can sit and enjoy your food and drinks with the amazing view of Hartis. What a fun place to be. So just above the other restaurant, the spa and the bar is the pizza shack. You can come and order pizza and drinks and then sit on these happy sacks with the amazing view of either in front or behind you. We just did the, the dicey loops that we are acting like two dicey's now <laughs> sitting here in the sun and relaxing and just baking. baking in the sun. So yeah, this is a pretty awesome place to just come and relax. After the short walk, and well, even if you didn't want to do the walk, you can just come straight up here. Just come and relax here for a minute or two. Unfortunately, all good things come to an end. So now that we're going back down to reality, I just wanted to take a second and say I think this was definitely worth the money we spent. You can definitely make a full day trip out of this and go up in the morning and have breakfast and enjoy some time at the spa and do the walk and sit on top and watch the view. It's definitely worth the money spent. So, yeah. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe so that you don't miss the next adventure. Yeah, thank you for joining us. This was quite a, a fun trip we did. Yeah, well, enjoy the rest of your day. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.